Well, the European Union is also intensifying its pushback against Russia. EU leaders slapped sanctions on 12 more Russian leaders during a summit in Brussels, and they say they're preparing for the long haul. CCTV's Sandra Gathman has more. Following a tit-for-tat of sanctions between Russia and the United States aimed at targeted officials, the European Union is widening its own list of travel bans and asset freezes to include high-ranking officials in Moscow. What Russia has done is unacceptable and the countries of the European Union need to speak with a clear and united voice. What that means is more uh, asset freezes and travel bans, more action specifically in respect of what's happened in the Crimea. But whether further action will involve the immediate threat of economic sanctions against Russia is still under debate. The political will, at least, is there. And we will make very clear that we are willing to impose economic sanctions in the case of further escalations. Russia's next steps and how the EU will respond is all but clear, with 28 member states vying to protect their differing business allegiances with Moscow and energy dependency on Russia's natural gas. Thinking up a unified pack of economic ammunition against Russia might prove difficult. There are signs, though, that countries are willing to compromise. Sweden, as a country, has 400 companies already present in Russia, and they are already worried about what happens, so the effect on the Russian economy has already started. But yes, we need to prepare to take further steps and we need to do it together. A strong Europe is the last thing that Putin wants. All this while Ukraine and its weak economy remains vulnerable in the crossfire. The EU says it will protect Ukraine's energy supply and has exempted the country from trade duties. Half a million uh, duties that will not uh, be uh, paid by the Ukrainian exporters to the Union, so the, the European market, 500 million uh, consumers will be open to the Ukraine economy, and this is very important uh, 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 trade-wise. On Friday, the EU will go further and sign a political association agreement with Ukraine, the very document that caused protests and the eventual ousting of Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych who rejected closer trade and political ties with the EU, instead making a pivot towards Moscow. While European officials continue to push Moscow to engage in a political dialogue with Ukraine, it's clear Europe's relationship with Russia has taken a sour turn. Both sides still disagree on the status of Crimea and are being forced to rethink their economic interdependence for the long term. Sandra Gottman, CCTV, Brussels.